Hello everyone, welcome to Gossip World Works. My name is James and today we're doing another model scenery kit. This time we're doing the Metcalf Town End Cottage, as you can see here. So we have a nice, lovely wood framed building. And the product code is PN167. And uh, yeah, it comes in a very nice small package like this. And it cost me about, what, £11 again? So very nice. And uh, yeah, it just seems like a nice little thing to work on. And uh, let's have a look on the inside. So let's have a look through the manual. First we'll see what uh, bits we have uh, in the package. So here's the checklist. So we have two printed uh, sheets, which is sheet A and sheet B, which do double up to look like that. So very nice. Uh, we have the brown, not brown, well, we do have a brown sheet, which is this one over here, which is for some detailing for the windows. It's window frames and things like that. We also have a grey sheet, which is the uh, strengthening structural parts of the building. We also have a glazing sheet, which is this bit here. Luckily, not too many windows, which is always good for me. Uh, we have the instruction booklet, which we're looking through now, and also the ridge tail sheet, which we only have one for this time, which is always good. So I'll pop you out of the way there. So I'll pop some of these uh, places. Right, and the bits which we need for the kit. So let me just double check. Yep, so that's all. We need a modeling knife. I've got my box cutter right here, which works just as well. Uh, we do need a pair of sharp scissors, which I've got here. And I've also got my uh, side cutters just to help with some clean cuts for end bits. A steel ruler, which I've got a six inch one right here. Uh, glue, I've got my usual super glue, which is uh, some Loctite one, and my usual UHU glue. Uh, which I definitely do need to replace it, probably after this build. Um, <laughs> uh, need a cutting surface, which is the blue mat, which you can see just underneath. And let's see, do -do -do. and we also need some fine point tweezers. Uh, these aren't quite fine point, but they will do. I have got some fine point ones, but they're over there. And also, if you want to line the edges, you do need some water paint, you no know, watercolors, just to line off some of the. Uh, Edging or use some, um, uh, what was it, fine point, uh, was it felt tip pens? But I won't be bothering to do that, so that won't be featured. All right, let's have a quick look through the manual. So, first of all, we start sorting out the windows. So, we'll be stick cutting all these out and gluing them onto their respective parts. Uh, also, which I have learned from last time, do number all the gray, uh, gray board. Um, gray board uh, pieces because it does help find out which one you're after and for the brown sheet I basically put all the numbers beside it because these will be uh, shown and visible details so I don't want to write on them uh, I have written on pencil with these ones just to make it a bit more easier uh, let's see uh, you can add some uh, curtains but I won't be bothering to do that then we'll be working on the foundations, then the beginning of the walls, the inside of the walls, uh, adding some of the uh, bottom windows, and then adding top windows on this page. Then adding, uh, this is one of the exterior uh, buildings, just to, uh, no, yeah, this is the exterior buildings on the front. Uh, this is the exterior building on the back, and on the side it looks like. Uh, finishing off of the exterior buildings, then adding the roof details like uh, chimneys, and then adding bits and pieces here and there just to help finish it all off. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. And then we do chimney pots. So, yes, that is pretty much it. And I'm going to probably take normally takes me about an, between an hour and two hours to finish off one of these kits. So, you can take longer if you want. Uh, I may take a break in between because I've got a, um, something on my 3D printer going, but uh, otherwise it probably about two hours at most. So uh, yeah, it's a nice little afternoon project. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get started on uh, gluing all these windows together, and uh, yeah, I'll probably find something to watch on uh, my computer while I'm doing it. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit.
Well, here we are, the finished end cottage, and it's looking rather nice. Quite happy with it. Uh, a few things to point out which are a bit uh, niggly and fiddly, uh, mainly these uh, types of windows, just trying to get them fitted in up top there. They're a bit uh, awkward, and uh, the little roof bits there. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it took me about an hour and a half, as always. So, yeah, just an afternoon. Uh, also, these chimney pots. Uh, ooh, these chimney pots. Uh, I can never, can never do them. Which is the reason why on my own builds I use uh, just some uh, plastic uh, rodding and just paint it brown. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I gave up doing that on my ones. But yeah, it's turned out quite nicely. Uh, yeah, I can recommend it. Say it's not too difficult. It's just. Just the odd few things which are just fiddly. And uh, just wait for it to come around again. So the instructions are quite clear. And uh, yeah. So it's a very nice afternoon project, really. Or if you don't want to no, do it as quick as I can, and, uh, uh, probably just about a day's worth, really. You know, it's not something that will take too long. Yeah, very happy with it. And for £11, that's a very nice kit. Yeah. So do let me know what you think of how it turned out. I know, as always, I don't paint the edges. And these can always do a bit... Tops of the... Other roofs can always do with a bit more uh, work, but uh, oh well. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. So if you do like the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and do let me know what you think about uh, the uh, Metcalf Town End Cottage. I think that was it. Or End Town Cottage. Whatever it was called. Unfortunately, I've already put the packaging in the bin. Um, <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you think. And... Um, yeah, if you do like the video, feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And if you didn't like the video, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And I'll see you all again next time. So take care now. Bye-bye. Let's wait till it comes back around again then. And I'll cut off. Yeah on. <laughs> yeah on. There we go. That's it's a very nice looking uh, cottage. Yeah. Anyway, take care now.